Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Autogen using RunPods and Google Collabs. So we are going to use a local LLM and we are going to use RunPod to power up the LLM. So you want to go ahead and create an account with RunPods, put in some credits and then let's get started. We head over to template and in the template we have uh, this template run pod the blog LLMs we click on deploy and then we are going to select the GPUs that you want to use I'm going to go with RTX a6000 we click on deploy here and then we go to customize deployment and add in one more port so expose HTTP ports we have 7860 5000 and 5001 we add as well we click on set overrides and then we are going to click on continue and deploy this. So this is going to load up. Click on my pods and you can see the logs and it is being created. When this is being created, we can go ahead to the Google Collabs and get our things ready there. So what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead to the Collabs and here I am going to install by autogen so i'm going to run this pip install by autogen okay it is connected it is running the installations now great the installation is done next we are going to import the autogen okay so in this step we need to configure the api list so here we have to write uh, api type is openai and api base is the api key that we are going to get from the run pods so this step we can run after we get the api keys that we need to paste here uh, from run pods so let's check if our run pod is ready click on connect and you can see this port is not ready we'll make this ready because we are going to use this port as our api so we click on uh, this 7860 this will create our ooga booga text generation web ui interface and let it run so click on model and in the model we are going to use this model this model works for mem gpt as well so i'm going to use this uh, in autogen and then we will in the next video try to connect try to power autogen and mem gpt using the same uh, lm so in this case i'm going to take uh, dolphin 2.1 i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here and just click on download now, depending on the number of users uh, who are using RunPod uh, at this point of time, the downloads can take time from a few seconds to a few minutes. Yesterday, when I was trying out, it was able to load it in just five seconds. But today, when I was uh, trying to do this, it did take some time, about uh, three to four minutes. But let's see. Uh, you can click outside here and you can see the volume that is being increasing so when there is a download and there is uh, it is downloaded inside the volume here let's wait for it and then i will be back great the model has been loaded uh, downloaded and now you're going to click here so as to refresh the models then i'm going to click on none and again i'm going to click back on the dolphin 2.1 mistral 7b then i'm going to click on load and this should be able to load the model so the settings for this this is loading the model here so successfully load it now what you're going to do is head back to my pods and click on connect and you can see that this is not yet ready now in order to make this ready there is a setting that you need to change we head over to the text generation web ui go to session go to click this link uh, click this checkbox open ai and apply flex extension and restart so what essentially we are doing at this step is we are opening the port 5001 so that we can do the api call so this is done and you should see the port setting changes here so this is changed now what you can do is you can go back to the text generation web ui copy the link here the entire link so i click on copy and 
you're going to go here and put the link here. So I'm going to add V1 here and I'm, I'm going to change this port to 5001. So this uh, should be done. So now we can run this and this is set up. So we have set up our API. Next, we are going to put in the LLM config. If you want to learn uh, how to set up these uh, assignments and these codes, you can check up my other videos uh, on Autogen. But this video, I had the interest of, of using run pods and in the Google Collapse. So I hit up an assistant that is going to do the uh, functioning, that is going to do the functioning of an assistant. And I'm going to load up the user proxy, which would be the replacement of a human being so we can uh, now start up the assistant so user proxy dot initiate chat assistant and we say the write a function to print numbers uh, from 1 to 100 or you can say 1 to 10 and we run this up so user proxy to assistant write a function to print numbers 1 to 10 how will we know if it is working or not it is going to give us the code so assistant writes this is the Python file that is going to print up the numbers 1 to 10. This Python script defines a function print numbers. It takes two uh, optional arguments start and end, defaulted to 1 and 10 respectively. And we execute this code uh, and we have these numbers. So this is done. We are able to connect. Now the performance of all the models and all the exercises that you can do, it depends actually on the model that you have chosen. So in this case, I have chosen Dolphin 2.1, which is a good model uh, that runs on MEM GPT as well. So the reason why I've selected this model for this demo is that in the next video, I'm going to connect or power up MEM GPT as well as Autogen using the same Dolphin 2.1 Mistral 7B. So that is my intention. But for this video, we have seen how can we use Autogen using Google Collapse and the local LLMs but using run pods. Using run pods we can create uh, the web UI interface and do this. But if you have your own powerful machine then you can run the Ooga Booga text generation web UI in your local machine and get the same settings and APIs from your local machine as well. So having said that I think this video is done and you are able to run this up. Uh, hit me up if you are able to do this test it out yourself but this is your host i will see you in the next video please check out these other videos on my channel subscribe to my channel like and share this video this is a new channel for the dissemination of ai thank you and have a nice day watch out for other videos